Commodities poised for a bull market and the euro gains and the S&P 500 slips. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Martinez, and welcome to tonight's VSB Stock Market Report. U.S. stocks were up earlier today but finished down across the board with telecommunications and technology leading the decline. In commodities, drought conditions in the Midwest continue to push prices higher. Cotton, silver, soybeans, and wheat all increased by more than 2% today. In other markets, Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel indicated that concessions may be possible for Greece, provided they meet the main targets set out in their bailout program. North America, the Dow Jones closed at 13,204 down 0.52%. The S&P closed at 1,413, down 0.35%. The Nasdaq closed at 3,067, down 0.29%. And the TSX closed at 12,117, up 0.34%. In Europe, the FTSE 100 closed at 5,858, up 0.57%. The CAC 40 closed at 3,513, up 0.93%. And the DAX closed at 7,089, up 0.78%. In the Pacific Rim, the Nikkei closed at 9,157, down 0.16%. And the Shanghai closed at 2,118, up 0.53%. In the U.S. bond market, 10-year U.S. Treasury closed at 98 and 12.30 seconds, decreasing the yield 1.8%. In currencies, the U.S. dollar was weaker and closed at a dollar and one cent against the Canadian dollar, a dollar fifty-eight against the sterling, and a dollar twenty-five against the euro. The Bermuda Stock Exchange, the Bank of Butterfield, closed at a dollar and twenty-three cents with no daily change at a volume of one thousand six hundred and forty-six. That's it for the stock market report. Stay tuned for more news ahead with Peter.